What up, what up, what up? This is Bruce Solis with Core Multimedia Solutions. This is my second week of an hour of video content. I'm gonna throw some pictures out too, some projects we did this week and throw out some education, but I uh, was thinking about following up on what I was talking about last week, how I started my company, why I started my company. I really had to give this some thought. Um, I've talked to a lot of entrepreneurs along the years and business owners and everybody has their reason for why they may have started a company uh, but the greatest reason for somebody to ever start a business or a company is and or follow a career is if they're pursuing their passions in life the question is is how does one know if that's your passion in life um, well, not everybody knows, right? Not everybody understands what that may look like. Um, some people do. Uh, some people have always known. And I think that's amazing. I think it's an amazing gift. Um, I had my old college roommate, Mr. Bubba Whiteley. This guy, I mean, he knew from when he was a child that he was going to study medicine and and biology and all that stuff. I did not. Uh, but hindsight, looking back, I remember being a kid and uh, always loved working with my hands. I used to work with my father on our cars. And because uh, back then, you know, you were poor and you, you know, you, you, you had to work on a car. <laughs> so then my next door neighbor, old Carlos Mirror Gunner, he used to work on his cars as well, so he learned how to work on cars. But I remember being in high school, and uh, at that point, it was, uh, you know, uh, late 80s and early 90s, and uh, hip-hop was kicking in, and it was cool to have some bass in your car. So we used to work on our car stereo systems and, and, and build our little subs in the back and our sub boxes and it was you know cool to make your car rattle and you'd get this boom and whatnot so of course it's still kind of cool it was just different back then because uh it was more of a phase uh that a lot of us were going through uh so uh, i remember that's when it really started uh, back when i was a kid uh, getting working on car stereo systems. And then in college, I remember being one of the first kids in college that had a surround sound system. Now, surround sound wasn't even a big thing back in 1992. Uh, however, I had a nice technique sound system. And I don't even know if I was really, really getting surround sound, but you know, it was a good concept and uh, I was, I implemented it in my apartment with my living with my brother and throughout the course of my youth and younger years I was always tinkering around with uh, music and surround sound and, 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 and one of the things that always fascinated me about being in a car or being in a house is that I always enjoyed being in a car right because you get that full 360 surround in this tight small little space and I was always like man if you could duplicate that in the house how cool would that be well unbeknownst to me a lot of people are already doing that I just wasn't I never really pursued it from an educational because I was in college and I was doing what I was supposed to be doing because the man uh, society my parents um, friends government, media, everybody said, okay, here's the path to success. Go to high school, graduate, go to college, graduate, make good grades, get a job, do all these things, and you too shall succeed in life. Um, and hey, I learned a lot and I had some amazing experiences hindsight and looking now what I know now and meeting so many incredible people throughout the years and um, it's not 
the only way to go. In fact, I encourage people to pursue their passions more than to pursue college because going to college doesn't mean that you're going to be successful in life. Going to college or even graduating from high school doesn't prepare you for how to budget and how to uh, start your own business and how to take care of your family and how to raise kids and how to purchase homes and how to invest in stocks and real estate. It doesn't teach you any of that. Uh, it teaches you some basic fundamentals and it teaches you social skills and a lot of other things. And if you plan on being a doctor, then great. You got to go get your education. If you want to be an attorney? Great. Go do all that. If you want to start an AV business, uh, then maybe going to tech school is your way to go. If you want to become an esthetician, well, you know, getting a PhD in biology doesn't, has nothing to do with you being an esthetician. So, point being is that one of the things that I hindsight looking back and one of the, one of the lessons that I've learned and spoke to several individuals and you hear it and read it in books is follow your passions. What, what interests you in life? What things bring you joy? What, where are your talents lying? And if you can work on that, then it's not about the business. It's about pursuing things that really, really, really interest you. And, and, and you know, what's the point of living this crazy life for how many years that we live it to be miserable on a day-to-day -day basis because you absolutely hate what you do? Now, personally, I did the corporate thing, and I earned and gained a lot of skills because of that, and for that, I'm absolutely thankful because it did prepare me to put me in a position to where I am today. However, it wasn't, it didn't prepare me for the day-to-day -day grind of what it was going to take to actually build a company and start a company. It, it prepared me to be responsible enough and, and have enough knowledge and, and confidence to do that. Uh, but doing the day-to-day -day grind, um, it, it, it doesn't. Um, that really just comes with persistence and passion and believing in oneself, which, hey man, I spent every other day questioning, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? And uh, I would wake up, I'll just do it anyway. And I think that's part of it. You you get up and it doesn't mean that you don't doubt. It doesn't mean that you don't have uh, issues that arise. I, I literally am just driving out in the country right now and saw you know, a, a, a bull bounding a portal. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, uh, visiting some clients. Um, so I just remember it all started back when I was a child and I knew that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I knew I wanted to have my own uh, business. And ironically, I let people, society, uh, business, uh, school, uh, and everyone else push me in a different direction than really where I wanted to go. Ultimately, I still landed back where I believe I need to be and am. However, um, I did listen to a lot of influences that necessarily weren't on my side. They weren't against me, but when you're going to break the system, you'll find out very quickly how many people don't really think that's a great idea. And it doesn't matter if it's a business or person or, or however you want to do it, right? It can be, hey, you want to live in a different country. So... That's, that's really one of the things that I remember and all these things led up to my, my cool experience in owning my business. So pursue your dreams, listen to yourself, find a little bit of purpose, take a step back and go, you know, hey, what are the things that I really like to do? And if you're doing something right now, working in a career that you don't necessarily like, well, one, find the best opportunity within that to figure out what are the things that, that you like that you're doing, no point in being miserable. But the next aspect of that is 
what are other things that you'd rather be doing? What are your passions? And, and start working towards that. Um, because every day that you're not pursuing that is one more day that you're losing out on on being happy and, and truly, truly working in the gift that God gave you. Uh, whatever that may be, right? We all have certain talents and gifts. Um, you know, I was thinking about the name Core Multimedia Solutions, and this is the other thing. So, in starting a business and starting my own company, I really, really wanted to get back down to, like, who, what are my values? So my parents, I was blessed with amazing parents who taught me great values, and, um, and my friends, my friends' parents, and I, and I had a great childhood, I had a lot of amazing positive influences, but for that, man, you can't, you know, I, I feel blessed, because not everyone's got that, not everyone grew up that way, in fact, the majority of kids didn't, um, I really feel bad for a lot of the uh, youth nowadays and our teachers because our culture and our society has gone so far away from actual good values, um, doing the right thing. So after after spending so much time in a very, very, very litigious environment, I really saw a lot of greatness, but man, I really saw a lot of, um, you know, I'll say it, white collar crimes, uh, a lot of deception, a lot of just not the way I believe I wanted to live my life. And, uh, and that, again, ultimately led to why I didn't start a consulting business and negotiating uh, in telecom anymore because, frankly, I just couldn't deal with that environment. Um, I started my company and created the name Core, Core with a K, Core Multimedia Solutions. Why did I come up with that name? So the little slogan tagline is, is bringing harmony to your home and office. So... The tagline was created because, man, I, it's fun. I mean, it's 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 cool to bring AV and televisions and, and music and and, and and technology into houses and, and commercial environments. It's where we're at. It's where passion lies. Um, so that that's where the tagline core came is because I wanted to get back down to the core values of business and core values of humanity, where people, where I did what I said I was going to do and worked our tail off and my guys do, do and, and we we do the best that we can we're not perfect, we make mistakes we make errors um, we make errors every single day but it doesn't mean that we're not busting our tail to try to do the best that we can and in addition to that I wanted to go back down to hey, almost handshake type deals People pay you to do a job, you do it to the best of your ability, and you ensure the success of, of the project by making sure your clients are happy. But also setting realistic expectations from a client perspective, because clients too are not always right. In fact, most of the time, they're uneducated, they have unrealistic expectations if you allow them to do that. So to me, it should be a win-win type of relationship where the majority of my clients, I have a good relationship with them. We're able to laugh and joke, and that's what I wanted. I wanted to get back to the core values of humanity, the core values of doing business. Just the simplicity of, hey, here's my services. Here's what we're gonna offer. We're gonna provide a solution for X value, and you're gonna get what you pay for. And everybody walks away happy. And to me, that's business. And if you make a mistake, or when we've made mistakes, we've spent hours and hours and hours correcting it. I don't charge my clients for our errors. Why? That's not, that's not good business. And sometimes I've had to take a loss, and sometimes I've had a great fruitful wins. I mean, that's part of it. So, I also believe in educating ourselves and educating my, my, myself and my clients on a continual basis. And I think that's part of the business and being honest with people. I've had people that 
haven't wanted to pay have just left town um, literally left town shut down their businesses commercial companies GC's um, so that's the other part of business and I had mentioned before in one of my previous videos that karma man if you do wrong by some people your karma is gonna get you and I believe if you owe somebody money you need to pay them you need to go out of your way to make sure that you have done right by these people um, and if you're one of those people listening karma is gonna get you it really 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 will because other people have families and whatnot so that's going back to the name core I just wanted to get back to the core values of business and the simplicity of just that doing the right thing and, and sticking with the accountability and responsibility of your work fun stuff AV I believe audio and video in my world is one of the most spectacular cool things and with that I in business had to learn to adapt in humanity we have to learn to adapt I started this company hanging some TVs and I didn't know anything other than hey I could put a surround sound system together and where we're at today from a technology standpoint is absolutely the coolest freaking thing on the planet I mean we have technology that allows us to talk to our watches for crying out loud so my challenge and opportunity is how do we make all this work so we've had to grow into not just music it's you know and now it's everything is streaming content and not just video but audio and now we're getting back to the basics of we set up off houses like we set up offices we've had racks and switches and networking and all sorts of crazy things why because that's where we're at so we've had to adapt with the times we've had to grow so if you're looking at starting your own business you have to adapt and grow and if you don't adapt and grow and modify and change you're not going to be very successful and I don't care what it is that you do COVID has really 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 taught us how to adapt and change it is now normal for people to go out and wear masks what that is crazy absolutely crazy that that is now normal but hey and it's not just us in the United States of America worldwide worldwide this is where people are at and it's going to set a precedent for the rest of our lives and it's a, it's now a new norm how crazy is that you know video conferencing uh, travel is all going to change because of this one event the expectations of where we're at today as a society is absolutely mind-boggling and spectacular all at once that's going to take me into AI technology I think AI technology is one of those things that we are going to get hit with fast and furious over the next two to three years and I think in the next five years it is going to be a new norm and in ten years it's just going to be part of who we are which is AI technology in homes and offices uh, it is that fast it's becoming the technology is already there we're just not really fully implementing it so uh, 